Innocent but with a tarnished reputation, Willard Dell Taylor was charged with murder back in 1972, but DNA cleared him of that crime. His son says it destroyed his father anyway. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. We first told you about the cold case murder of Greg Nichols. The case still remains unsolved, but 18 years ago, authorities accused Dale Taylor of killing him. I happened to see my father handcuffed on the front lawn in nothing but his underwear, which was kind of embarrassing, and uh, all the police all over the place. In 1992, deputies with the Uinta County Sheriff's Office put Dale Taylor under arrest for a 20-year-old murder. His son, Wes Taylor, is 27 years old at the time, comes home and meets with his mother. She said, your father killed somebody, and I'm like, what? And I couldn't believe that. But. Taylor is eventually charged with the 1972 murder of Greg Nichols. It's been two decades since authorities find Nichols' body inside his burned vehicle at an overlook west of Vernal. An 18-year-old girl is also with Nichols at the time of the shooting. She survives but is raped. Not find a, a killer or killers because they could not find anyone that had anything against Greg. But then Uinta County Sheriff Lloyd Meekham claims a tip leads them to Dale Taylor, who lives in Salt Lake County. It has something to do with my half-sister, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe she's the one that called in a report or something on him. According to Taylor, his father boasts about killing Nichols in a fit of anger with the son's half-sister. He was upset at her at the time, and I think he was just trying to scare her. I mean, really scare her. He was very upset at her. I don't think he, you know, would have harmed her. But. but it's enough to land Dale Taylor in court, having to defend himself against a murder, and his family is also targeted. Well, people say, oh, I know that guy. I know that guy. Oh, his dad c killed somebody, you know, and that kind of didn't feel well with me. Months later, DNA proves Taylor isn't Nichols' killer. Taylor set free. He dies in 1998. But his son says he never recovers from the shame. Well, he uh, had always been a drinker, and uh, it just got worse and worse. And then he started doing drugs, and uh, I think that's what ultimately killed him. Two years later, Taylor sued the Uinta County Sheriff's Office, but the case was dismissed. As for the unsolved murder of Nichols, the case was recently reopened, and authorities are waiting for DNA test results of two men who may be responsible. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.